Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and we're working on this is part three of the Australian stock saddle um, pattern. Um, and so last time we had finished assembling these pieces your seat and your flaps and your padding. And now we're going to put them all together. And the first thing that we want to do, I'm going to put that out of the way. First thing we need to do is we're going to be fitting this right in here. And I like to do this one side at a time. And I always like to dry fit before I glue. So, that is going to be our dry fit. Oh, why that is so. All right. First thing we're going to do is to make sure this fits right in here. It's got to fit. So, this is flush right there. So, that's where we're going to start. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. It was being naughty, so have the clamps ready. Okay. I like that one. Put one of these broken ones. That's good. Okay, now what I might want to do put away some of my tools here. What I might want to do is just go ahead and cut these because I need to push this in like that which is the reason for this opening here, and those can get in the way. And if you want, you can just cut them off, because they're going to be glued in there pretty good. This is actually the stirrup bar. The other is the billet strap. So you can cut both or just one, but you need it so they can do this. Right in there. Like that. So we're gonna push that down. You see how that goes together? We have to make sure that it's in there. Oops. Get that off. And that. There we go. Here we go. I'm never completely happy with anything I do, so don't take that too personal. Okay, so back here, we're going to go ahead and do glue. Um, you can see the line where that flap is. We're going to glue all the way along there. Because that's too much glue, I'm just going to go ahead and spread that. And the seat's going to come down right about there, so 
Yeah, there was a little, there was a little much glue. Okay. Now we need to do that along this side too. And if you want, you can also do in here. And this is a good time to check and push it and make sure it's symmetrical. Alrighty. So we might want to let that glue set up a little bit before we start playing with this. Um, as far as adding the next pieces. Um, okay, so while we're waiting for that to kind of set up so we don't disturb it, we're going to work on piping. Now I showed you the roll method. Here's another way that you can do it. This is a bedspread weight cotton yarn and um, I think it's a three. I think the three is smaller than the five but you never know because sometimes they like to do it the other way around. I inherited this from my grandmother so can't tell you how much it costs or anything but usually it comes in a ball and it comes in different colors and um, she liked to do a lot of um, doilies. She did doilies. So that's what it would be. Um, I'm sure you can make a bedspread out of it, but it's called bedspread weight. All right. So what I did is I put glue right along the edge there. And then we're going to use this to help us roll it. All right, so I just kind of fold over the yarn. And then I'm going to get one more roll in there. Because I don't want this to be too thick. Okay, that's just about what I want. You can put more glue if you need to. All right, and then we can just snip off our helping end here. Now this one, we need two of these. Let's go ahead and do the other one. We'll do the other one, um, and then I'll be back. Okay, so there's my two. This one, we are putting in front here to finish off from here to here. So all of that tan, that's what we're finishing off. So let's put some glue on. The reason why I cut it or fold it in half is so that I can get that right in the center, like that. And you can either use your fingers or me, I like to use a stylus.
And then I need to make sure that I pull this so that it gets onto the flap. And then like that. So see how it disappears right in there? That's what we want. Oops. Get back in there. And then it disappears right there. Okay. Now, I would like for this to close up. So I'm going to put some glue there. I'm going to be really careful. And I'm going to put it on my stylus or whatever spreader you want to use. Let's see, right in there. I'm going to close that up. And yes, I just cleaned up my stylus. Okay, so... The point here is to close up this gullet. Okay, I'm going to do the same to the other side. Okay, so that should make the front look pretty. Uh, glue, 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 okay. That's what we want to do. We want the front to look pretty. There we go. Okay, now you may ask, what's this other piece of piping for? Ah, yes. That goes all the way around the back here. Now, to make your life easier, you might want to do this. You don't have to, but you might want to. And basically, we're just making... So because it's going to turn, what we're trying to do is get rid of any bobbles or bubbles or whatever. And so just do a few of these. So when it turns, there's not any excess there you have to trim off later. At least not like the darts. Like on the seat, we had to trim all of this off. Well, by doing this, we're going to avoid um, a lot of that. A lot of those... Um, I don't know what you want to call them, darts, I guess. So, I know this is longer than I need. What I'm going to do... Now you can do it all at once. Sorry for knocking the camera. I'm still working on the best place to put this. It's different from what I was using, what was that, four years ago when I first started this channel? Huh? Totally different setup now. It's a little too close to the edge for me. All right. It 
doesn't matter if you put the right side or the wrong side um, down on this, by the way. It, it doesn't matter. You just want that to be all the way around that edge. Wow, that all rippled on me. Oh well. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess. Okay. And you might want to hang on to that, and I'll show you why. And that was the piece that we trimmed, right? Yeah, I can't go further out. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we can glue these right on top of that. And they should just come together like that. But what I find is you want to make sure they're symmetrical. And then, <coughs> just to help me out. I'm going to go ahead and mark right there, where nobody can see it, that that's center. Now, I can glue these down. I'm only gluing down the um, these, right? I have a, a in front of the score line. I guess the best way to put that. Um, tabs, I guess those are. side. Okay. See how there's a little gap here? What I want to do is right along that line that we scored, I'm going to go ahead and push these down like that. And what we're going to do is push those together. And using a little piece of this, we're going to glue that shut. That's not in the book, by the way. This little detail is not in the book. So, the point is that we don't want to see that. So, come on. Last piece. Well, stirrups, but they could be English, they could be Western. The stirrup leathers are stirrup leathers, but we'll show you those too. Alright, so 
see how that goes. Right like that. And we want to, to this side, kind of want to fold that under. That's where I'll start. Over here, I want to do the same thing because there you go. So, kind of make sure that right there. Sure. I don't see an edge. What I should see is fold over. Oops. Oopsie. There we go. So the um, tail ends here should not show. They should be tucked under. We shouldn't see those. So I'm kind of putting those in first just to make sure All right and now I can kind of flop this down and we're gonna put the glue right here not close to the edge it's really going to kind of be right along here is where the glue is and if you get a little more in there, that's fine. Wow, that little piece didn't stay, did it? Well, that's disappointing. Okay. And then the last of it is we want it to stop right here, okay? I don't want it to go any further than, than that, so go ahead and put the glue here. I mean, it's going to flare out a little bit. Ah, I overdid it over there. It's too far. Oh well, we can always add more. And if we're not sure, we can put it on the felt. That's why I don't like to put it on the felt. It's so hairy. Okay. So, I know it's too long, so I'm just going to come along here. Trim that. And this ends up getting long because it stretches. It's like leather and felt and these things, they stretch. When you work with them, they actually do change shape. So... Look at 
that. Okay. Sir single. All right, so your sir single goes in this hole. And there's one side that's just a little bit rounder than the other. That one goes in front. Mm. Yeah, stirrups are behind. Come on, open up just enough for me, just a little bit. There you go. Okay, sorry about the stirrup leathers do go in the front of the sur single. And um, so the sur single actually sits back here and that's because the saddle isn't trained, it feels weird, but but we need to train this so that the sur single will hit the right place and then it'll make sense. So what we'll do, there's different ways to train this, I think, for tonight. Because it really needs to sit overnight. I might just do that. And then I can also see by doing that that I need to re glue in a couple places here. Sorry. Yeah, I like it being close enough you can see what I'm doing, but let me tell you. I keep banging on the camera, so I may have to find yet another place to put this camera. Alrighty. You can go ahead and let that sit. And then we can work on the girth. And if we could train it, we might as well train it right, right? So we'll work on the girth and the strips in the next video.